Kevin, aren't you scared? No! <laughs> Don't go in there! Ah! Whoa, popcorn's all over me. Way to control your snack, bro. I just pop these, too. I suppose I'll make the next batch. These ought to hold me over. Is our kitchen always this dark? Now, where's the popcorn? Aha! Let's pour it and get out of here. Th there's nothing in here. I can't go out empty handed. Huh? Is that you, refrigerator? What's it trying to tell me? We have corn on the cob? Hmm. Think I can make this into popcorn? Thanks, Fridge. I wonder if I can pop this into the microwave. Only one way to find out. This bag will keep the kernels from flying. All right, off you go. Anything? Whoa, it's working. Careful, it's hot. It sounds like popcorn. Wonder what it looks like. So weird. And it made so many pieces of popcorn. That fridge was really onto something. It smells like a movie theater in here. Our snack's ready. Did my creative snacking skills scare you? Bon appetit, boys. And maybe turn on a light or two. <laughs> Look at that monkey go. Yes. Can I have that? I guess we could share my chips. Here. Whoa! Easy there, Sophia. How many are you grabbing? This should be enough. Thank you. What am I supposed to eat? Look how low the stack is now. But it's better than nothing. Hey, my hand's stuck. Come on. Is everything okay, Adam? All good here. <laughs> Except for my misshapen can hand. Come on, get off me, you stupid thing. Yes. Oh, that was scary there for a minute. How am I gonna get to these chips? those papers over there. Time to put on my creative thinking cap. If I fold the paper in half long ways, it can help the chips slide right out. Let's give this puppy a test run. Make sure to slide them down under the chips. It, it, it works! Aren't they beautiful? I really am a genius. Are those for me, Adam? And back in they go. Can't a man eat a decent snack around here? Nice catch, Adam. Do it again. Uh, hello? Look what I can do. What am I, chopped liver? won't even look over here. Wait, I know how to get their attention. Wow, Adam, you're so talented. But can you handle these? Ha, hey, Adam. Throw it at me. Boom, amazing. Now try this one. Well, that certainly isn't a marshmallow. How embarrassing. I can't believe you did that. Sorry, but that was pretty funny. Is that shell in my hair? <laughs> Man, what a day. Until tomorrow, skateboard. Oh, it's time to chill.
Oh, I knew I should have asked for two bags. Phew! Whoa! Ooh. Oh man, that looked really bad. Brian! Seriously, man? He's out cold. Which is just how I want him. Oh, Brian! Yes! Perfect hit! Huh? Who doesn't want <laughs> eggs when they wake up? What? Oh, I could just kill you! Take a shower, you'll get over it. Oh, there's Amy, chomping away on M&Ms again. Man, I could really use some of those right now. Maybe if I ring this doorbell a couple of times, Amy will leave the candy alone so I can steal some. That's weird, I'm not expecting company. <sighs> I'd better get the door. And it worked! The candy is mine! Time to dig in. Hello? Anyone there? That's odd. Better eat as many as I can before she realizes there's no one at the door and comes back. Oh no, Amy's coming back! Oh, screw it. Just grab as many as you can and get out of there, Helly. Okay, where were we? Hey, where is all my candy? Oh, come on! It's all gone? Not one piece left? Wait a minute. I have an idea. You look innocent enough, Mr. Teddy. I'm gonna turn you into the perfect hiding spot. Okay, if you're squeamish, you may not like what you're about to see. Just kidding. Kind of. Don't worry, you'll reattach it later. Go ahead and take some of the fluff out to make room for the jar you'll put in there. Get a small jar or container like this one, take the lid off, and place it into the torso of the bear. With a glue gun, outline the jar just under where the lid will screw on and press the surrounding fur on it. Pour anything you want in there. Candy, pretzels, you name it. Now put the bear head with the glued lid under it right back onto the top of the body. Screws right on, see? Aw, so cute! And when you get hungry for a snack, pop that sucker's head right off and take a handful of sugary goodness. Oh gosh, is that Helly I hear? Quick, hide the candy! Oh, hey! Nothing to see here. Hey, is that chocolate I smell? Nope, don't know what you're talking about. Just chewing some gum, that's all. Could have sworn I smelled chocolate. All right, it's Monday morning. And time to get to work. Ugh, what does that taste in my mouth? Perhaps chowing down on the second helping of garlic chicken last night wasn't the best idea. Looks like a fresh mint is just what the doctor ordered. Whoa! If you share an office with a bunch of mint moochers like Mia here, you know the pain of having to share your stuff. If only there was a way to keep mm -hmm. your mints out of plain sight so no one could steal them from you anymore. Snag an old container like this one and put your mints or gum in there. Next, put the container underneath the plant right there in the pot. Great, that fits perfectly. Put that sucker right back onto your desk and no one will ever know your precious mint stash is hiding in there. In fact, those are so well hidden you may forget they're even hiding in there yourself. But in the meantime, you can enjoy fresh, garlic-free breath any time of the day, moocher-free. Ah, that's so much better. I sure wish I could go outside. I hate being injured. A yummy snack should pass the time. Ugh, these are really salty. My soda! It's probably still cold. Gah. Why is it so far away? Come on, I just want a sip. I've gotta have something handy that can help. I forgot about these straws! I'll just fashion my own device. Okay, this should work. Now just a few more straws. We have contact! And now we sip. 
This is a lazy person's dream.